Hello everyone, welcome back to our online weaving workshop by Journeys in Design. My name is Akshita, I am an artist and weaver from Mumbai. Uh, I hope you all have been watching our online weaving workshops by me and Dr. John and I hope you all have been doing some weaving. We would uh, love to hear from you so uh, do comment or post pictures of um, any weaving you have been trying or you've been up to. So uh, last month we have uh, seen how to weave on a circular frame. So I used uh, uh, some wire to make a circular structure and um, what I wove within it, I uh, used it uh, as a like my top for a bag, a circular bag. So I just used some more fabric and sewed, sewed it together and then added some rope to it. So. It's fun, I mean, when you are um, into that process, you get new ideas and uh, to do something creative. So, uh, hope you have also been trying something creative or just to relax your mind and practicing this act of meditative weaving. So today we are going to see how to weave on a triangular frame. So to make a triangle structure for your frame, uh, you can use any sort of like wood, wooden sticks or cardboard, uh, pieces of cardboard um, or you can again use wire. Um, what I've got here is some chopsticks. So I'm going to make a frame out of three chopsticks. And I also have this interesting piece with me, so we can also try weaving on this to make a triangle weaving. And I also know that Dr. John might be using uh, cardboard car corners to make a triangle frame as you were saying. So I have cut out some cardboard here and I can show how to do weaving on that as well. So starting with the chopsticks, I'm going to tie um, the edges of the chopsticks but I'm going to make sure that each stick overlaps um, each, each uh, like another stick but um, in an alternate way. So if one stick is above uh, the second one, the third one will go below it and above, here, above the first one. So just to crisscross it, um, so it stays firm. So I'm going to start with a cross here and with thread I'm going to uh, tie it securely like covering each end, going around each stick as many times to secure it properly. So I have um, tied each corner um, and secured it with thread properly and I need to make sure that the knots are, uh, they don't slip, the uh, sticks don't slip out of the knots. So once that is done, I can start with the warping. So the warping, um, warp threads are the set of longitudinal threads on a loom on which uh, your weft, that is the horizontal threads, interlace to make a weave. So uh, to begin with, I'm tying a knot at the center and uh, there are different ways you can uh, go around playing with your triangle weave. Um, either you can uh, make it, make your walk vertical or you can make them horizontal in whichever direction you want and you can experiment with different textures uh, viewing from different directions. So I'm going to start warping by um, tying a knot at the center, coming across to the edge here and then again I'm going to turn it around um, to secure it properly. 
and then leaving the distance I want going to take this straight on the angle again and uh, I'm going to tie a knot on this because since it's a slope uh, the thread the warp threads might slip as it's inclining so I'm going to tie knots here that's it and then take another yarn so this is some uh, grass that I've, I had collected and uh, some of this I dyed it with indigo same way again so uh, one idea is to use these wild weaving uh, material like grass uh, with long lengths or even plastic uh, ropes so you could make a recycled um, wall hanging or a mat in India, we call um, these mats as chatai. They are usually made with plastic or um, dried grass, which is great. And then I'm following the same method, continuing to uh, do this on both the sides. So that is my warp ready. It doesn't look perfect, but I guess it's all the organic material I'm using. So I'm, uh, for the web thoughts, I'm going to use this grass. And uh, to begin with, I'll tie a knot on um, any one of the warp threads. And then I'm just going to go over one and below one. So I'm going to go over one and below one thread and uh, I'm also going to use the frame uh, as a part of my weaving so I'll go around the frame as well and then repeating the same way alternately one and below one and I can use this uh, sort of a comb to beat it down and then when I start uh, putting another weft um, I'll begin with the gap I left with uh, from the previous weft so falling the same way and then I can knot these uh, at the back now or once I'm finished with all the weaving. So that's how I've woven it. Uh, I'm going to do the top bit now just by using um, the two sticks and one warp 
thread in between. I'm going to weave this. you can weave it as dense as this uh, for your entire piece so that's it <laughs> and um, of course you can uh, weave it densely or you can weave, you can experiment like this or um, make a loose weave and um, that's about it how to uh, weave on a triangle so I've moved uh, I've used a similar method here but um, I've tied the warp thread um, horizontally this time and here I'm using a needle to weave the web so just going in and out and then beating it down like that same way I'm going to complete it um, with the needle so you can see this is how it looks like you can try different uh, textures like this with thick and something thin so this is another one and um, the last one I'm going to show you is we're using a cardboard and stuff John might use it. So I've made um, the frame just by stapling the corners and um, I've made two holes here to start uh, the warping and to end it here. And I've made these grooves as we made on the cardboard loom, uh, rectangular cardboard loom. So. Uh, around one inch distance I have made these groups uh, parallelly across uh, both the sides of the triangle so I'm going to use some rope to do the warping starting with um, putting the putting the rope through this hole and um, taking it through the groove here and I'm tying a knot here double knot and then um, I'm just going to take it straight across moving to the second groove and again parallel here so same way um, throughout the frame making sure that they are not loose As you can see um, after the warping I have put some webs uh, the same way as we did in this uh, going over one and under one simple plain V and then I've experimented with um, different uh, textures as in uh, weaving from different directions 
so if you can see uh, here it's horizontal then vertical and then I've added some more warp over it so you can try different ways and experiment as you go along and then after you finished you can just simply uh, cut out your two knots that you made for warping on the top and the bottom and then simply slide these from the notches that's it that's your wild beef in a triangle shape um, on a cardboard loom on some chopsticks and a mini tapestry on this uh, free structure so you can experiment and uh, just enjoy the process um, I hope you all like this video and I uh, look forward to seeing what you all make, what you all uh, create um, using these ideas or of course creating your own. Um, and I'll see you next, next time again with another exploration on wild weaving. Thank you.